What is up BDS crew? I am at my first job. Just got done doing the glass on the outside of the house. The reason why I say only the glass on the outside of the house is because I had my house cleaners here the other day and they did the interior glass. So that way when I came out, all I had to do is the screens and take care of the exterior glass itself. So make things a little, a little faster. And that way when I come in and do the carpet, that's pretty much all that's left and it goes a little quicker that way. So that's the bonus of not only just being a carpet cleaning business, but also have house cleaning. So if you're getting into the business and you want to have a little something extra to help keep everything moving along, I highly suggest implementing house cleaning into your, your home. So with that being said, I'm going to show you guys what I'm up against here. So let's check it out. Okay. So I am standing in the master bedroom. So when I got here for the estimate, this was all empty or sorry, not empty. It had everything in it. And so this is the first time I am actually seeing the carpet without things in it. So you can see normal wear, some stains here and there. Um, they are pet related. So I will be doing a nice heavy duty pre-treatment before I get to the CRB and all that. Um, cause you can catch a little bit of an odor in here, mainly be probably because of those spots there. And so I've kind of gotten a couple things set up. You can see my, my blankets here. And then this room here, not empty, but pretty much cleared out. Whatever that spot is over there. I just actually saw that when I put the, uh, drapes up. So I have no idea what that is. Uh, the stain was actually partially on the bottom of the drape. So who knows what that came from. And then this is the last room. As you can see, it's already been vacuumed. My, again, my house cleaners were here and pre vac -ed. So the hardest part about this room is going to be that spot. It's hardened into the carpet. So I'm going to break it, break it up and try and pull that out. Um, so we'll work on that in a little bit. So they're in the middle of moving their house into a new home. So everything's kind of crazy in here. So that's what we got going on today. Then I got a couple estimates later and that's pretty much it. So just wanted to show you guys what I'm up to. You can see the screens are out. I still got to clean the screens uh, that they have and then put those back. So I'm going to hop to it. Thanks for watching. All right. So yeah, I got a couple little screens. This would allow me to show you guys. So these are in pretty bad shape. So there's some some damage to the frames and whatnot, but at least you guys could see this because it's been a while since I've shown the screen cleaner. So I thought you guys might enjoy that. So as you can see, does pretty good job. So after that, I whip the water off the screen itself and then I wipe the frame uh, completely down around all the edges. So that's it for the screen cleaning. All right, everybody, BDS crew, it is pre-spray time. Let's see, get this going here. Yeesh. That spot started to disappear on contact. That is my favorite. Up that spot, get a little extra.
cross over to the next room here. That was a hard spot. I got some stuff in here to help with that, and then I'm going to break it up with my carpet shark. If you remember seeing that in one of my last videos? A little yellow tool that has some jagged edges on it that allows me to break up spots like that in the carpet. Tell these carpets need some love. Not sure if they've had them professionally cleaned before, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it a good scrub here shortly. So stay tuned for the CRB. Spot up this one too. Just about gone. We'll rinse that all out. And we'll be good to go. Oh, something fell on the carpet there. Love it. changing table for the kid. That's pretty normal. I know all about that with my three boys. Trying to combat wear and hopefully make it look better. It can sometimes be a struggle. And when you got the CRB, it help fluff the carpet up a bit. A lot of times Unless the traffic areas are just really, really bad, you can almost hide the wear patterns. Not always, but sometimes. All right, this room's done. On to the bedroom across the way. Oh, this little gate. Make it a little difficult to one hand the CRB in here. Bear with me. So that hardened spot, obviously, like I said, I'm gonna need to use my my uh, carpet shark on that. I wouldn't want the CRB bristles to be too aggressive to the point where it could actually work that spot out because you get too aggressive 
bristles on this thing. Scrub some carpet, you're gonna do some damage. So these blue brushes are standard with uh, probably most CRVs. So if you're in the market to getting one for your cleaning business, that's most likely what you're gonna end up with. And they're pretty universal. As you've seen in my previous videos, I use it on tile. And it does a good job. You know, if you really need to use it for agitation in the first place, the right chemical and dwell time, and you can probably 75% or more of the time get away with not having to agitate because the cleaner does all the work for you. And that is, of course, Grout Master. close to the door okay last room it's a master as you can see I actually CRB them in the order that I pre-sprayed them you don't necessarily have to do that if you gave it dwell time but this just kind of keeps me in order and focused on the direction I need to continue to go. A little kick out there. So that's just me. You don't have to do that. Generally always start in the furthest point and work your way back out. Or if two locations are identical and, and length out. Look at that and you can choose which one you want to start. I just chose to do the room on the left first. No particular reason. Sorry, gotta put everything back how it was. Try and keep everything in order how they had it. So that way when they come home, everything's placed as it was. Like I said earlier, they're selling the house, so everything is just all moved around right now, especially since they wanted to clear out this room and get the whole thing cleaned. So it's not a very big house, so they have their stuff in the living room and hallway area. Like I said, my cleaning crew. Uh, was here yesterday so they already pre vacked where I needed them to and I'm just here to do the finishing touches see it's heavily worn right here these carpet fibers are in pretty bad shape right there
over here real quick. So I can flip around and not run over it. Some of your guys' favorites. Obviously, I'm not doing the closet, but I do like to at least go up to the threshold here because closet doors are usually shut all the time. So you're going to get that filtration soil there. This is the only area that air can pass through is right under this doorway. So you get filtration soil when your AC or heater's on, it's moving air around your house. So naturally, when air is moving around, it's going to make its way through small holes, cracks, whatnot. And that's the only area there. So a lot of times, when when stuff's closed up like this, you got it closed up. That filtration goes underneath, and your carpet, it being the biggest filter in the home, will filter some of the dirt or dust. And over a long period of time, you're going to end up with filtration soil. And sometimes it becomes damaged too because you get that soil stuck in the carpet. And then if the door happens to slide across the carpet fibers a little bit, you get that dirt plus some friction, you got some damage. So check your doors periodically, the thresholds there, and be sure that uh, it's not happening to you. All right. CRB's done, up next, rinse. All right, BDS crew, I am trying something different here uh, for this spot. I saw somebody use it in a YouTube video and it seemed to do the job, so I am testing it out. It's called Glacier Chewing Gum Remover with freeze action, so it's supposed to freeze it. it leaves no residue, as you can see. So I'm gonna try it and see if this helps for when I use the Carpet Shark. See if this makes a difference. I don't think it was gonna do exactly what I was hoping for. Or maybe I need to use a little more. This one's pretty hardened into the carpet. Who knows what it originated from, but it's pretty, pretty tough. Yeah, so, let's see. This one may not want to budge. It's in there pretty good. I'm gonna have to heat it up some more. But, I mean, it's yeah, it's caked. Caked on there. So I'm gonna heat it up some more. Go from there. So it's on there pretty good. So I want to get it hot try and break it down a little bit then use the carpet shark all right everybody rinsing out the master bedroom I already did the two other rooms this one's just a little bit bigger of a room so it's a little easier to maneuver and film So funny story, see how those blinds look right there? The, the sun beats down just to the south of the roof of this house a little bit. So she so was saying she constantly gets, you know, the sun beating down in here. And so when they had these, these curtains, these blackout curtains, I guess, in here, the sun was on them for 
you know, majority of the day in this case that she said that it melted to the glass. Because when I was cleaning the outside, I was like, oh, hey, you know, I noticed there's some kind of residue or something on the inside of the glass. I haven't looked at it closely yet, but I just noticed that. I wanted to bring it to your attention. And she's like, oh, yeah. My blinds melted to the glass. I was like, really? That was the first I've ever heard of that. I thought she had some kind of stickers or kids put stickers on there or, you know, uh, something else that had adhesive to it and it just wasn't coming off. So I asked her and that's what she told me. So I was like, well, that's the first I've ever heard that happen. It does get pretty hot here in California where I'm at, but man, the blinds just melted to the glass. That's crazy. I mean, we're starting to get into the hot weather again. We got 78 today. Last I checked, I could tell because I'm breaking more of a sweat in here. But uh, yeah, I thought that was crazy. So that's why they look all orange. And what she told me. Love it. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment down below. Hit that like button. Last I checked, 41.8% of you that are subscribed are watching it. The other percentage of you that have been watching my videos. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you get notified of all my videos because I'm sure I'm showing up in your recommendations. And if you've been enjoying my content, make sure that you don't miss anything by subscribing and hitting the bell. Leave me a like down below. That helps YouTube know that you guys like these, these videos and it also helps me know too that I should continue down the carpet cleaners vlog scenario. So I like doing them this way a bit because it gives you a little bit of everything that I'm doing for today. 
kind of keeps you guys more involved, which is cool. So if you enjoy that, let me know with that like button and a comment below. Throw down a hashtag BDS crew at the bottom if you are enjoying this video. It's pretty beat up, but they are selling the house, so I believe I mentioned it a couple times in previous videos. If you're selling your house, at least in my area, um, I don't know if it changes in other states, but in California, in my area, if you're selling your home, putting new carpet in to make your house seem more appealing doesn't necessarily give you a return. So, the time it takes and the money it costs to put new carpet in isn't worth it. Uh, I believe it doesn't even give you any additional value, like, you know, brand new countertops or, uh, you know, top, granite countertop type thing in the kitchen where it actually, the main, two main things, updating your bathrooms and updating your, your kitchen. Now, those will add value. We did that to our house and it made a difference. But uh, changing out your carpet just to sell your home doesn't increase your value. And if it, even if it does, probably, probably not enough to make you feel like it was justified. But uh, yeah guys, I appreciate you. Leave me a hashtag BDS crew at the bottom. Let me know that you like this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, BDS crew, just kidding. Wanted to do a walkthrough. So here is the finished result. Came out pretty good, considering the amount of wear in this room, mainly in this whole section here. Obviously where the bed was at, nothing. First kid's room. The spot that was right about there, that popped out. So I was happy to see that. And then lastly, the other kid's room. Got that stuff out that was hardened in. Took a little bit, but it came out. So excited about that. So I'll get these lights turned off so I don't leave a bunch of lights on in their house. All right, guys, that's it. Gonna pick up my blankets, take them out, and finish putting my stuff away. You guys have a fantastic day. Thanks again for watching and tuning in to Black Diamond Services. You guys' support is very much appreciated. This is why I do these videos. You guys are enjoying them. So long as I see that, I'm going to keep doing them as much as I possibly can. And then uh, once I actually am able to hire somebody uh, to help me out in my area, you're probably going to see a little bit more content, hopefully. Because uh, I'll be able to film while he's doing some things that I would normally be doing. So... That is the goal this year. So thank you guys. That is also helping me get to that point. So I appreciate it.